Hey, what's going on, gang? Good afternoon. Hi there. Greetings. Welcome. High fives and salutations and everything else. All of the various ways to welcome someone into a situation is what I extend to you. In every, whatever language you speak, whatever your native tongue is, whether it's English or English, whatever it is. My name's Alan Cox. Say hi to Bill Squire. He's right over there. Yo, creepy hugs. Mary Santora is out. But Gwen's here. Hi. 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 And, and I know we can't see Gwen that well. That's how she likes it. Yeah, she <laughs> li- does like it like that well. That's right. Yep. You're talking on the side of the microphone, too. Oh, I'm you know. So- okay, sorry. <laughs> We'll, like, pull it down a little bit. Okay. There you go. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll fix what? it. What? We'll, you want it even lower? Well, yeah, yeah so yeah. we can hear you. So okay. that we everybody gets the full benefit of your mellifluous tones. I mentioned yesterday that you were going to be in today for Mary, and I got a lot of excited texts from people. A lot of exclamation points? A or how did lot, you know? Well, they said they used the word excited. Whoa. The word excited. <laughs> And there were a couple of exclamation points. Wow. Hey, pound, speaking of exclamation points, our human exclamation <laughs> point, Cody Poundcake Brown is back there in Studio G. Afternoon, white people. Hello. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Cody. I know I gave you a hug in the hallway, but still, hi. Again. I like giving you hugs. I love giving you wow. hugs. Wow. Did you hear that? Yeah, he's a good hugger. A couple of new besties. Izzy, I've never hugged him. I, I don't I don't ever want to physically make contact have with him. Have we hugged no, Alan? In our eight years, we definitely have had, a ha- had to have a hug. We've never hugged him. Give him a big old hug. No, I don't think so. Probably like a uh-huh. throw an arm around each other thing. Under what circumstance would you and I ever have occasion to hug, Cody? I don't know, but in eight years, we, we've never had that type of contact. <laughs> no, never. Why would we? I don't know. No. I think I'm pretty sure I've hugged Bill before. He's given me, like, gifts and stuff. And we, I've given him a hug for sure. I like to keep it professional. You know me. I mm. like to keep it professional. Cody, he doesn't even hug me. I <laughs> hug my wife <laughs> all the time. Child. Well, I call it a back hug. No uh, arms I, hug. I, is I come not up the from same. behind, yeah, and I squeeze. Hmm. Uh, no, Weird. our chests will never touch, Cody. All right. FYI. Um, unless I'm really, really drunk, keep maybe. I'd have to I'm just, be, I'm just yeah. surprised because I... have to I, keep it professional. I don't need anybody coming back and going, oh, this guy hugged me one time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just surprised because I am a You're hugger. So petty. I, I, I know like you I are. I would initiate it, um, and I just... Maybe you tried and he shut you down. No, he would never shut me down. I'd make him oh, hug me. Please. I'm Seinfeld and you're Kesha. What are you talking about? <laughs> now that you have no. this on recorded uh-huh, yeah. audio evidence, you can give him a hug now. Uh, no, I won't do that. Oh. No. It, it, up till up till now, it hasn't been a thing. Now it just kind of became a thing, um, and now it's it seems uh, like we've over talked it. But anyway, welcome. Well, we're all here, and if you'd like to join us, two one six five seven eight one double zero seven or eight hundred three four eight one double zero seven. The number is three five one nine two. If you want to text, and uh, you can watch live if you like at alancockshow dot com. We were just talking here a couple of seconds ago, about a very exciting show that's coming to Cleveland. And um, let's see if I can find some here, and whether or not uh, any of us will be attending. And I think that we probably, at least I think that I will. This is a a two hours to midnight. (laughs) 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 Two hours to midnight presents Christopher Cross (laughs) at the Agora. Uh, I don't know that I would have come across that, by the way. If Bill hadn't mentioned it, it's mm-hmm. only a couple of weeks away. And I can't believe how excited I am for this. Well, my mom loved Christopher Cross. You know, growing up, she had those He's albums. He's got hits, man. He's got a lot of hits. He did the theme for Arthur here, mm-hmm. one of my favorite comedies of all time. You should invite your mom. I'm not going to invite my mom Why? to come see Christopher Cross because he's probably got a Chicago date she can go to. And I d- I'm not going to. with a nice older gentleman. Shut up, Bill. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Nothing of the sort. So, uh, anyway. Uh, the mighty Christopher Cross. Now, I don't know if the guy's got new stuff. I mean, this dude. I don't want new stuff. I want these right. songs. He got, no, he, <laughs> I'm only playing new stuff, guys. This is guy was another victim of the Grammy. This one's called rafting. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. This guy was a victim of the Grammy curse. There's a curse on best new artists for the Grammys. They win, and then they go away. And that's exactly what happened to Christopher Cross. He won in like 79 or 80, and he had his first album. He had a follow-up album. He's been making records for 30 Mm -hmm. years. It's just people stopped buying them a long time ago. You think he's 
He's the silent hit maker. And Michael McDonald in there. What yeah. are you talking about? Oh, I mean, he's well, he's written for other people. He's written songs for other people. Like the Bible? Like the yeah, he wrote for the Bible so is old. what he did. Huh? So old. It's old to you because you were born when Christopher Cross well, yeah, won. That's the like best a relative. That's a relative. Gwen, I'm going to right? see Herb Alpert on Sunday. He's 88 years old. Do you even know who you know Herb Bill's Alpert? really excited yeah. about Herb no. Alpert. Yeah. Are, is he coming with the Tijuana Brass or are they all dead? I don't know. I think he's just coming with his wife. Uh, w- with his wife. Hey. Okay. No. This is Herb Alpert. And the Tijuana Brass. Mm-hmm. I've got this album at home. I was going to say. Yeah. I've got uh, whipped cream and other delights oh, at home. Oh, with the chick covered in the whipped yes. cream. Yeah, Christopher Cross. I, I wouldn't mind seeing him. I'd rather That'd see be... Chris Cross. Jump, jump. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't. One of them's dead. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Cross is dead. That's I why this guy goes by. Die? This guy, that he had to start going by Christopher Chris. <laughs> Gwen neglect. <laughs> you, <didn't, laughs> you killed him by not knowing that he was alive. <laughs> oh, man. I was hoping that wouldn't get out. No, Chris Cross. Um, yeah, one of them's dead. One of them OD'd. Years ago, right? Like 10 yeah. years ago. No, I I don't know. Bob Barker died 10 years ago. That's for sure. She <laughs> is convinced that he died a long time ago. And I'm like, no, I am 100% convinced Mandela effect on you. No, he just ago. died. 99. That's why Pancake was so upset because he couldn't even push it to 100. Loser. He, he, yeah, he quit. He's no, a quitter. He died, he died at 95, 94. <laughs> Listen, the important part is that Herb Alpert is still alive mm-hmm. well. Does he sing? Because I no. heard a no. single word. He's okay. a trumpeteer. Yeah, he just... Oh. He's got, he sings one song. He's got, like, one song that he sings. He co-founded A&M Records. Of course, yeah. you knew that. But, um... Uh-huh. <laughs> I like... I think horns are underrated. Hmm. What's an overrated instrument? Don't say drums. Mm. Uh, <laughs> what is an overrated instrument? Mm. Glockenspiel. What was the one that that guy from Steely Dan played while he sat down? He like blew into the keyboard. Oh God, the uh, the. He's never, like, oh, I can't play this. <laughs> I I sit down. It all comes back to <laughs> Steely Dan, doesn't it? For me, on the plus side, for her on the negative. What is side. that called? I forget. It's like the the, the, the inflatable. No. Blow keyboard. Uh, it's not inflatable. Uh, but you can win them at carnival games. Right? No, it's called oh. a. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, you, it's a keyboard you blow into. I know what you're talking about. But, <laughs> but I forget what it's called. It has a name. Uh, it's, I don't know. Somebody will tell me. Somebody will tell me. Wow. Uh, it starts with a K, I think. Uh, Kaleidoscope. No. Mm-hmm. It's a melodica. 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 Right, because saying. it's so melodic. That you have to sit down while you're playing it? Well, you don't have to sit down. Oh, oh. He sits down to play the piano. He wasn't playing the piano. Well, he was playing it. He, he was playing the piano he could blow into. He, <laughs> he's old. Uh-huh. It's called a mouth organ. Yeah! Anyway, all right, I've uh, got to take a break. If you want to send a text, 35192, com, And wherever you are, you can listen on that iHeartRadio app. The countdown is 